Today I'm going to share with you a cozy cabin vibe with Christmas presents, ornaments, and decor. Welcome to my channel Freckled Mom DIY. I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey! These DIYs are super cute and super easy. This is a collaboration with my friend Rhonda, which I'll explain in a little bit. But let's get cozy and jump right into these cabin DIYs. Every good fireplace needs a good garland. I am in love with this garland. These are from the Dollar Tree. I ended up using four of them, but right here I'm gonna show you how to make the garland with two of them. So first, we're gonna obviously get it ready and cut it all up, and we're going to spread it out. So it's all, I think these are like five feet or six feet long, and I'm just kind of getting the kinks out of it, you know, because it's been wrapped up in this little package, and I'm laying it out flat, and then I take this second one that I have and I'm cutting it up and I'm cutting it into like these little pieces. They, I didn't measure them. I just cut them out to add just a little more like substance to it, if you know what I mean. So like I said, I did use some more, which I will explain at the end, um, but really I think you just need four of them. So here are some pine cones. You could go outside and just pick some pine cones. I live in the city, so we don't have pine cones, and I had to go to Hobby Lobby and buy some. But I'm sure you could get these if you were looking around your thrift store. I've seen them a couple times, um, and also, you know, different craft stores have them, not just Hobby Lobby, but Michael's, and Michael's always has really good deals, so definitely check out the prices before you buy. All I'm doing is hot gluing them to the garland and I think this is just super sweet definitely a cabin feel to me I did have some glittery ones but I chose to just use the simple ones that had no glitter or extra embellishments now I did have a pick from Hobby Lobby that I've been working off of for a couple weeks now and just taking it apart and using pieces I wanted it had little pieces of sticks so I thought that would definitely add to my natural kind of cabin feel so I glued the sticks in and now I'm gluing these extra little pine cones. So I'm not sure what they're called, but they're just little embellishments that I pulled off the pick. And I think these are super sweet and obviously it's all fake. So if you wanted to sprinkle some, you know, balsam or um, cedar essential oil on it, you totally can do that. Or maybe just do like a Glade plug-in in the corner just to give you that Christmas winter feel and get the scents you know what i mean so these are some berries from a dollar tree pick and i just broke them up you can see that some of the red is off of the ones that i broke off that's okay because we're you're gonna see i'm gonna tell you in a second but we oh okay it's not a second right now guys so this is why i said it was okay that we had some white on the berries because i'm going to do a little flocking a little snow action here so this is just my chalk paint, linen white. I'm just going through with my dry brush and I am just dry brushing some paint on this. You could do so many different things. You could get some water and baby powder and do the same thing where you just put some water on it and sprinkle the baby powder on it. Or you could get some flocking spray from Walmart. I think this came out so adorable. I'm so in love with this garland. Like I love my fireplace. I love the classic feel of it i thought this would be a perfect place to put my garland and again this is totally cabin which is out of my comfort zone but i'm loving it guys like i love the berries i love the pine cones and the snow i love everything about this i just think it gives off that cozy christmas feel as i mentioned before this is a collaboration with my friend Rhonda from the distressed princess diy channel if you haven't met her guys you need to oh my goodness her diys are so adorable she does so many different styles she does high-end dupes she does so many amazing creations that i'm in love with of course so if you haven't met her yet definitely head down to my description check out the link to her channel and she's on instagram and tiktok and she does some amazing quick DIYs so make sure you check her out guys tell her Devin said hey 
these present tags double as ornaments, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So I have some Scrabble tiles here, and you could get them out of Scrabble games, um, but I actually get them off Amazon, which I have a link in my Amazon store. There are like five bags of Amazon tiles, and it is a great deal. So here I am just hot gluing them together to spell out the name of my children. Um, this could be something you give as a gift to anybody. I mean, literally anybody. Just spell their name out and make a little tag for their gift. So you're going to see me keep going here. And these are great, which I'm going to show you um, that we're going to add some twine. And you can make this into an ornament. So right here, you guys see I'm on a little bit of a struggle bus <laughs> making my little ribbons here. I thought these would be cute and simple to go with the cozy cabin feel and I make one for each of my ornaments well Christmas tags but you guys are gonna see that so here we are making the twine holder so this holder is just twine obviously and I'm wrapping it around my finger and I'm making a little knot and this is going to hang the Christmas tag from the present but also once they open their present they can use this hanger as the ornament see guys genius right so this is definitely adorable i'm in love with it i cannot wait to make like a million more okay not a million because i don't know a million people but you know what i mean so i just hot glued it right to the back hopefully if you have like little kids that are opening presents uh i wouldn't put this on their presents because i mean you could break it it's just held together with hot glue but if you wanted to reinforce it on the back, you could just put like half of a pop popsicle stick right down the back where you wouldn't be able to see it, you know. So here I am making little bows. I got my bow maker finally. And yeah, maybe it's cheating a little bit. But you know what? I got neuropathy. I got arthritis. I don't care. I'm going to do whatever is easy for me. So you guys can see I am doing what is on the instructions over there to my left. Um, and it's just really tying knots around two sticks. Like that's it guys. So I'll make a video soon about the bow and the bow maker and all the different little holes there for the different sizes. Cause there's a lot of bows you can make with this. So for people who are not um, bow experts like myself, this is definitely um, a quick little trick here. So I love it these are dovetails that i'm cutting here so i you don't have to do that i just think it adds that little extra flair to it it doesn't matter if it's christmas or easter or whatever i just love dovetails i think they're so sweet so i have a little bit more of my garland here and i'm just cutting little pieces off i'm cleaning it up just so it's not so big i want it to be a little smaller and i'm going to hot glue everything to this bow so here are some more of those berries. Again, um, these you can get at Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever you want to get your berries. You could go outside and pick some berries, guys. It doesn't have to be something you bought at a store. So I just hot glued it right to the middle of my bow already. It's adorable. So now I'm going to add the little bows, the little berries, and a bow. So you're going to see we are just layering this right up. I do have a little pine cone here. This guy is so cute. You guys know I love my minis. And now I have that cute little bow that I made. I did not put fire to it to get the scragglies off. I left it. I thought that would add to like the carbon, the cabin charm. I just think this is so sweet. And you guys know I am not the best at bows. So for me to be able to make a bow, I'm happy. So I did put that bow maker down in my Amazon store. I'm gonna make the second bow here. And you saw all I'm doing is hot gluing everything to each other. And then I hot glue the bow right to the top of my tag. And I think these are so sweet. I think anybody who receives a gift with this on it is going to be so happy. Like they're just going to love it so much, especially that you can turn it into a Christmas ornament after. So this is a present that I've wrapped. Um, here is my Dollar Tree, I think, no, this is from Michaels, this ribbon, and it's wired. And what I'm doing here, I'm crossing it. This is the back, so I cross it over. You can see that. And then I wrap it over to the front. Now, I there's a million different ways you could do this, but I am doing it pretty simple right here, guys. So I'm just pulling it so I can wrap it back to the back again so you don't see any of the seams on this ribbon. I'm cutting it off. Of course, you can see that. And then I'm just going to hot glue this right to the package. I love making my presents 
beautiful. Like I just think that is the added charm to Christmas is receiving a beautifully wrapped present. That's perfect as is to me. I think that's adorable. And now we literally just upscaled it so much guys. So I'm just going to hot glue it right to the present because these are a little heavy. So you just, you know, just make it so it can get to your recipient without falling apart. So I have a bag here with some tissue paper and I'm taping it to the bag. So now you can see it is done in two different ways. We got our bag, we got our box. I love this so much. Um, yeah, you can kind of not see the W there, but that's okay guys, you know, it's all right. So I'm in love with this, like I love it so much. Let me know down in the comments if you love wrapping presents beautifully or are you just like a quick wrapper because you know they're just gonna unwrap it anyways. Let me know down in the comments. If you're new or coming over from Rhonda's channel, welcome. We are renovating our 1925 year old cottage room by room. We do some home decor, thrift flipping, and more. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe. To all my current subscribers, thank you. I am also a chocolateur leading designer, so if you wanna talk chalk or just say hi, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. So now we're going to make some fake birch logs. So this is um, a pool noodle from Dollar Tree. Um, I picked white, which it really doesn't matter. They have different colors. We're going to be painting this. So I'm just cutting this. I didn't measure it. I'm just cutting them. I want them to be, you know, different shapes, different sizes. Obviously they're not different shapes because they're all cylinders. So I wanted to get that different size in there. So here I'm just going with my truffle. This is a Waverly paint made by Plaid. And I'm just giving this one good coat over the entire noodle. It actually dries pretty quick, guys, so you don't have to worry about drying time. Um, I definitely wouldn't use your heat gun on this because you don't want to melt the foam, but it dries quick. So here I'm going through now with uh, my chalk paint, linen white. It's from Rust-Oleum, and I'm just kind of putting it on. I'm not really paying attention how heavy or how light. I just want to get that white on there, but I do still want to see that brown through it. And I'm gonna do this to every pool noodle. And so what I ended up doing, I tried a couple different things, which you're gonna see here. So I do have two different colored noodles, um, but I just love the way this looks already. Like, I just think it looks so sweet, but I wanted to add like that birch feeling to it. And I don't live near birch trees. Like I don't have those kind of logs. So I'm only seeing what is on the internet, you know? So I'm just making some lines here with that truffle paint. And I didn't feel like it was really giving me the exact feeling I wanted, but kind of, you know, I don't know. I think it does, but I do feel like um, it needed a little bit more. So I did go through with my elephant. I added just a little bit more color. I did use my fingers to like kind of smear it in a little bit just because I'm out in nature. It is not going to have perfectly lines like that. But I think it came out really cute. So if you have any tips on how you make your birch logs, let me know down in the comments. And I'm just gonna keep doing this to a bunch of them. I have these wooden ornaments I got off of Amazon and I thought they were gonna be perfect just to make it look like a real log, you know what I mean? So it, I covered up that um, foam look. And I'm just hot gluing them right to the top. You could reuse these after the fact, you would just have to peel off the glue. So don't feel like you're wasting um, wood ornaments. Everything I use is down in my Amazon store, guys. So if you want to get these ornaments or the bow maker, it's there. So I got this little pail half off at Michael's. I thought it was super sweet and I thought it was perfect to put my logs in. This will go down next to my fireplace after I make some more DIYs to fill up this space up here. But I am in love with how these came out. I think they are so sweet and I love this bucket. I'm so happy I got it half off. Oh, and I had a coupon too but I just think it's so sweet and so adorable. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are inspired and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. 
I had so much fun with my friend Rhonda making these cabin DIYs that I literally want to decorate my entire house cabin now. I have a lot coming up, so make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of these great Christmas ideas and home decor. When you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I post a new video. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. As I mentioned before, I am a leading designer for Chalk Couture and I am so excited. If you want to purchase products, I have my link down below in my link tree. And if you're wanting to save 40% and join my team, comment below or reach out to me privately. I can't wait to see you again. So until then, keep crafting and have a great night. <laughs>